Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I got a little too excited. I, I, let's try that again. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh, H to the O V. I used to move snow. All right, welcome back, Mike Nuge Vlogs, episode fourteen. First off, of course, I want to say thanks so much for one point four thousand subscribers. Um, it's been a while since I hit that mark for the second time. Um, if you don't know, like 99% of you do, I was doing YouTube well before this back and I started in uh, 2014, no, 2015, because I was a uh, freshman in high school and I looked like I was in fifth grade. Check this out. What is up, you guys? I'm Mike. You probably know that already from my Instagram account. Yeah. Um, puberty kind of hit me like a truck. And pretty late. Anyway, uh, so when I quit YouTube, well, no one has really quit anything, but uh, when I quit YouTube, uh, I was, I want to say, a little over 1.5K. Um, and then, of course, I stopped back, uh, wait, last episode, well, last video was right before I graduated high school uh, summer of 2019 so it's been a good two years. Cody took racing yes. Tyler took three, no, no, two wheel so I lost a lot because no, I wasn't posting so why would you subscribe if you're not posting anything but I posted a lot more got it up so again thanks again for uh, 1.4k so today is Tuesday Monday Nothing really happened, so maybe nothing worth filming. Um, tomorrow, I am flying out to Spokane, Washington to assist Kurt with the car crash coming up this week. He is in Washington right now. He traveled from uh, Montana to Washington, and then I'm flying out from Champaign to Chicago, Chicago to Spokane. So, going to be a fun travel day. First time flying in a few months uh, since I flew out here. So, I'm looking forward to it. So, Gonna get home, gonna pack, gonna eat, gonna sleep, and then fly out tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the morning. Um, so quick, it's like five in the morning right now. I'm just chilling, just ready to go. Uh, Cheech and I are getting in the truck. He was ready to drop me off for the airport. Uh, and I got a call from Tim, uh, Tim Hall, my boss. And he said my flight got canceled and I'm like, we're both confused. Um, I'm not sure why, I'm not sure how, I'm not sure who, when, where. Still don't know why and how. Anyway, um, so I got, not got canceled, I got moved. So instead of flying out from Champaign to Chicago to Spokane, leaving at 7.30 and then landing in Spokane for like 1.30, my flight is not until 2.30 from Chicago, no, Champaign, then Champaign to Dallas, a five hour layover in Dallas and then catch a flight from Dallas to Spokane and not arriving in Spokane till like one West Coast time. So that's three central time, but it's gonna be a long travel day, but still looking forward to it. Just like that, a 14 hour travel day is over. So we got, I got to the airport for one, 
boarded and left Champagne, flew to Dallas, had a five hour layover in Dallas. It was pretty cool though. Um, got to explore the airport. It was a big, big airport. Kind of like Logan. It reminded me of Logan Airport in Boston. Um, of course, I picked some Cowboys gear. The actual team store was kind of closed, so I wanted to. My was thinking about getting a uh, Dak Prescott shirt, or but, um, picked up a shot glass and a plush football, um, and then flew from Dallas to Spokane, Washington, where it is currently twelve. Well, no, it's currently one o'clock right now, West Coast time. So I was back in Champaign. It'd be three a.m. Uh, saying I am exhausted is an understatement. But it's for the business, for the dream I love, it's worth it. Um, but yeah, so I got off a plane and waited for my Uber. Thank God, thank God this 14 hour travel day is done. Um, I'm starving, I'm tired. I am gonna just relax, probably crash the second I get back to the rig, meet Kurt. We're at a truck stop right outside of town in Spokane. Um, I am freaking exhausted, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but that was my travel day. Um, first time flying since I moved out here in May. Um, so, and I got the first time ever in Texas and that was awesome. Um, it was hot as hell, but, and I didn't get to experience the city. I thought there was a gas, I had a bunch of people, a bunch of my friends tell me there was a gas monkey garage grill in the airport. So I looked and there wasn't, so I was kind of mad about that. But I did eat at the uh, Dallas Cowboys Club. That was pretty good food. Um, and then just went around, looked at, they all wanted to get a uh, Tyler Sagan jersey at, at He's a, if you don't know, he got drafted second overall by the Boston Bruins in 2010 and then uh, signed with the Dallas Stars where he's most, you know, oh, he's so big with Dallas that people forget he's from Boston, but then find one. So I'll just order one. But anyway, I'm exhausted. Getting back to the rig. Pass out. Tomorrow's a big day. Getting stuff ready. So see you guys in the morning. All right. We are here in Afrata, Washington. And it is pretty hot, 100 degrees, with humidity, a bit toasty. Um, but I'm treating us like family already. I love it here, small town, so there's only five stoplights and it goes straight down, like 8,000 people, but pretty cool view, see a mountain. Um, Friday, tomorrow, and Saturday, this place car crash. Looking forward to it. Gonna head back to the hotel and watch the Field of Dreams tonight. Every night, I go to a Little League game and crush those pitchers. Little League. Oh yeah. White Sox, Yankees. So that's gonna be, I've been looking forward to this for over a year now. It's gonna be a good game, so. Great weekend ahead of us. All right, so it's uh, Thursday night. And as we were leaving the dealership, they asked, all right, we asked, uh, what's good in town? They said, this Mexican restaurant. And so, all right, we'll treat you guys. We're like, all right, sounds good to us. So getting dinner at the uh, best Mexican place in town, I guess, and treating us to dinner. So I like it here so far. They're treating us like family in a really in a wicked small town, um, but it's hot as hell. It's freaking, it's uh, 7 o'clock at night and it's 100 degrees. No joke. Um, that's still pretty cool out here, so let's go eat some Mexican food. All right, it is still hot as balls. Um, today is done. We were, still got a pretty kick ass view. Uh, done with on Friday. Done with Friday. Uh, the, everyone here, um, they are the nicest people we have ever dealt with. They are treating us like family. Everyone here at Barry and Euphrata, Afrata, Washington. They are just, they are insanely nice to us. Um, 
we love it here. It's a small town. There's only like 8,000 people. Um, today went great. Car crash tomorrow. Weather's supposed to be great. Um, we're looking forward to it. So, we're gonna go swimming. <laughs> um, first time in a while I've been swimming. So, looking forward to that. Looking for that. We were looking forward to that all day. There's a nice pizza joint in town. We're gonna pick up some pizza. Head back. Probably watch some uh, AEW Rampage. That's starting tonight. Um, I forgot, it's like five o'clock our time, so it's already started, but I guess the end of it. So we're looking forward to it. So, chill night, back again tomorrow. Looking forward to it. When in Washington, you get some Seattle Seahawks shaved ice. I wonder if this ice passed on the one yard line. Back at five. Pass is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. What a weekend. Just like that, we're done, thank God. All right, so wrapping up, today is Saturday. We are done here in Afara, I think. I, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Afara, Washington. And so on display, we were on display today. Um, went good, we had a car crush, that went good. And we sat on display for the rest of the day after that. And right when we were really gonna leave, we're, uh, by the time we tire down, um, we decide why not to leave tomorrow. So we're just chilling here, rewinding for a little bit. Uh, the owners of the dealership actually invited us out to dinner again. So we're like, might as well. So we're about to head out to dinner and they want us to go back over the house. And they have like axe throwing. They wanna have like an axe throwing competition. I'm gonna throw some axes, uh, hang out. This is the first time a deal has ever done that for us. They, these people are by far the nicest people I've ever met. They've instantly came in and treated us like family. Um, like we've known them since grade school or something. And like when we got out, went out on Friday, we got there on Thursday, we asked, hey, what's, the, uh, what's good in town? They said, oh, it's a Mexican place. So, and they invited us to dinner for that. Like, okay. Um, so we're just chilling and riding for a little bit, catching our breath, and then we're gonna have to dinner and then hang out with having an accident competition, I guess. So we're looking forward to it and then hit the road tomorrow morning. So see you guys then. There you go. Oh. Oh. All right, it is Saturday night late. Just got back from dinner. Um, we had a fun weekend. So, really fun weekend. Uh, dealers were absolutely amazing to us. Cheered us like family, and we can't wait to come back again next year. So, gonna get some rest, hit the road early in the morning, head back to Champagne. So this is probably the only time I'm gonna ever see Nelly in concert for a little while. My man Nelly. All right, travel day one is done. Um, another day, another city. We are in Billings, Montana right now. Traveled all day uh, from uh, Frada, Washington. Left at like five in the morning. Uh, made it here uh, close to seven right now. Uh, still got a ways to go. Hoping to be back by Wednesday. Because then Thursday I leave for Pennsylvania. Um, other than that, it's hot as hell again. Uh, it's 93 degrees, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm sure the rest of the night, eat some food. Back on the road in the morning. Ten seconds late. I forgot. It is also Sunday night, so that means the episode is over. <laughs> um, I'm in track of days. Uh, so, quick. Well, first, here's the view. Nice little western view, pretty cool. I've never really been out west before uh, this year. Like, uh, uh, when I worked for Darren, I mean, we went, we passed through here because um, we went to Vancouver, uh, but of course that's when the world shut down. So I got to see, I could see the west coast uh, 
could just drive through it, but this is like Maxwell, like the first few stops out here, so it's pretty cool. Um, so recapping the week, uh, flight got delayed, but that worked out fine. It was like a 14 hour travel day, but it was whatever, I didn't mind it. Got to experience Texas for the first time. Um, that was wicked awesome. Uh, sucks that all the cowboy stores are closed because I need to pick up some cowboys and stars gear because I, I really want to. <laughs> I also wanted to get a Tyler Sagan shirt, but it is what it is. Uh, we made it to uh, Spokane, Washington. Um, drove out here to uh, Euphreda, and I kid you not, these dealers were the nicest people I have ever met. Um, they instantly took us in. They treated us to dinner on the first night. Like, we barely even met yet. And they asked, like, oh, what's, what's good around here? Because uh, we always like to experience, like, the town of Camilo, why not? And they're like, oh, this Mexican joint down the road. I'll we'll treat you guys to dinner tonight. Kurt and I look at each other. We're like, all right, cool. Um, so we had dinner with them. Uh, that was really fun. Uh, display on Friday. That went well. Um, and then yesterday, a car crush went well, a uh, great crowd, and then displayed the rest of the day. Um, and then their little boy, Henry, um, was a absolutely diehard fan. And he was just, he was, he was all, he was a huge, you could instantly tell, he was the most polite, respectful five-year-old I've ever met. Um, and. Again, they all treat us like family, and we can't thank them enough for everything they've done for us this weekend. Yeah, everyone at Barry's uh, Automotive in Euphreda, uh, Ephrata, Euphreda, so, uh, Washington. And then Kurt surprised Henry with a little care package of like hero cards and some other cool memorabilia um, that he absolutely like lit up. He was ecstatic. He was, it, it was awesome. You couldn't wipe the smile off the kid's face. It was absolutely amazing um and then we're about to leave we weren't really we were gonna leave uh last night we were just gonna get up early in the i get up in the morning early anyway and uh did it but they're like berries again i mean no i'm not berries uh tequilas which is a mexican joint again and we're like all right sure why not so uh we went out uh they treated us to dinner again the whole whole dealership all the friends and family and they treated us like we, they were we were one of their own like We've known him since grade school. Um, and they actually invited us back over to their place, um, hang out. They had axe throwing, we had like an axe throwing tournament. That was pretty good, awesome. The uh, last time we axe threw was in Hartford, Connecticut for Lindsay Reed's birthday. Um, uh, Brandon Telechka almost got us kicked out of uh, the axe throwing place. That was, that was fun. But it was fun to axe throw again. Um, and we hit the road this morning and gonna head back. Uh, like I said, I'm heading back to, uh, I'm gonna plan heading back because I'm in Billings, Montana right now. It's originally a 28 hour drive from Euphrata to uh, Ephrata. Euphr I, I still, I feel bad, I can't sue. Um, anyway, we're gonna, it's like 28 dri hour drive back to Champaign and maybe like 19 hours left, so be there by Wednesday, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday morning we, oh, I head out to uh, Pennsylvania, our car crush. So that wraps it up for this episode. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe. So yeah, hit talk. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat. Mike News 37. Friend me on Facebook. Um, I think I'm too young to have a MySpace. I don't even have my space. Anyway, do the rest of the stuff. Um, as always, peace and love, and I will see you guys in the next one later.